So USM Hodges are now the Confederation champions and congrats to them. But here are five lessons we learned from the game today between USM Hodges and also Young Africans. <music> I think ESM just had the perfect game plan for the game and they stick to it right to the 90th minute. ESM just came into the game leading by two goals to one and that means that young African had to score two goals, at least two goals to be in the tie and that means they had a lot to defend and I think they really did that. They didn't possess the game a lot of the times. They left possession to young Africans to, to hold possession but then they made sure they defended they are going limited young Africans to spaces in their own half, which means that young Africa or Yanga could not create a lot of chances to hurt them. And they also played on the counter break, which worked perfectly. They created the better chances in the game. They had the most shots, they had the most shots on targets, they have the most big chances. And I think it was the perfect game plan for USM Hodges today. Lesson two, I think Fiston Mayele, who has been the main man for young Africans in the CAF Champions League, didn't show up on the day. Throughout the entire knockout stages for young Africans, one man who really showed up was Fiston Mayele. In the quarterfinals, he scored goals. In the semi-final, he scored goals. He assisted in games. Even in the final, in the first leg, he got a goal. But today, on today's game, you barely could even see him work out a good opportunity. The, his touches were off. He couldn't get in the right positions. He was always off pace, off par. Couldn't create any chance. He wasn't at the end of any chances. And he was completely off. And not only was Fiston Miley off, the entire Young Africans attack was totally off. I didn't see them quit a lot of chances. They couldn't even string a lot of passes together in the final third of the half. And I think today just wasn't their day in attack. Lesson number three, I think this game, if Yanga had won, would have really been a game defined by Jigri Diara, the goalkeeper of Young Africans. I mean, what a game he had. What a game he had. He made a lot of brilliant super saves. As I mentioned, USM Ojes created the better chances, which meant if not for Juki Diara and his wonderful saves, the scoreline could have been a lot worse. But he was brilliant, phenomenal on the day. Juki Diara, what a goalkeeper. Lesson four, there was no sportsmanship. There was no gamemanship in this game. I appreciate the fact that this is a final and everything is at stake here for both teams. So of course, Everyone will want to do everything to, to win the game. And we understand when players do waste time because everything do waste time. So we understand when that happens. But for ball boys in the game to throw the ball onto the pitch whilst the game is ongoing. I mean, come on. This is not the kind of game we want to see at this stage. There was no game gamership. And we know USM just wanted to win it. But at least I think they should have made the game a bit fair, allowed the game to flow. They can waste time as much. I mean, every club does it. Every club, when they are winning, do sleep on the ground. So they could have wasted time that way, but not ball boys throwing the ball onto the pitch. How's the game is ongoing? Let's say five. I think away goal rule is cruel, but is it really necessary? Because already young Africans traveled from Tanzania in the eastern part of Africa to Algeria, the northern part of Africa, long flights. Um, they also had to play in a hostile environment with 60,000 fans from USM or just shouting at them. So some do argue that for them to travel to this five, they get a goal at least. It should be worth more than if they score a goal in their own home background, which is their way goal rule. Right? That was what won the trophy for USM Hodges. They won it on away goal rule because they scored two goals in Tanzania and young Africans only scored one goal here. But on we get it was 2-2. So is the away goal really worth it? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really asking this. I can't really be definite on it because travels in Africa is really, really tiring. And if players do make the long travels and still able to score goals, maybe they need to be rewarded for it. But to lose a trophy on a way go, I mean, that's my very, very painful. But these are the lessons I learned from the game between USM Orgers and Young Africans as USM Orgers won the CAF Confederations Cup. Congratulations, USM Orgers. And let me know if you have any lessons you learned from the game.